It's 2 a.m. and you feel like calling. I know what you want by the tone that you talk and just get to the point with a boss. What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over 5 things that you are doing wrong in the weapons gunsmith in Modern Warfare. Before we get to that, I want you guys to subscribe and remember to drop that thumbs up on today's video and then comment down below if any of you guys have been making these mistakes or if any of you guys want to actually learn more about the gunsmith and honestly what your thoughts are about the gunsmith in Modern Warfare if you guys are enjoying it and what some of your tips are as well. But anyways, much once again, let's get right into this. Now... The number one, or the actual number five thing, I guess you would say, thing that people are doing wrong is trying to, re like, control recoil with a horizontal foregrip instead of a vertical foregrip. Now, a lot of people I've been seeing are using commando foregrips, but a lot of people don't realize that commando foregrips honestly help you more with horizontal recoil than vertical recoil. So if you're spraying somebody while standing still, it's not really going to help you as much as a vertical foregrip would, aka like a merc foregrip, a operator foregrip, or a ranger foregrip. I personally love to run the ranger foregrip the most because it helps you a lot. So with the ranger foregrip, what it will do, it'll help you more with vertical recoil and that's basically your up and down if people don't know what vertical means but for horizontal recoil it basically helps you if you're looking to your left or right and shooting at the same time that's what horizontal recoil is so I don't know I feel like a lot of people are using their under barrels wrong so the first thing I want to say guys is if you're trying to record like if you're trying to control your recoil better and the best way possible use a vertical foregrip because horizontal foregrips are not going to help you as much as vertical foregrips that is the first thing i want to say to you guys and it is the absolute biggest truth i can honestly say now moving on along the number four thing guys if you guys are going for a quicker ads speed quit loading your weapon up with stuff that's going to slow down your ads speed by a lot aka you see how it says minus movement speed minus ads speed blow it to like, I don't know, people are loading up their weapons the wrong way. If you guys are wanting to have a longer barrel on there, that way you can smack people from a distance, I understand. But you got to find a balance. If you want to find a balance, use something like, for instance, the second barrel is a 23. It's the same thing. Put on no stock because that you see how much that increases your mobility and your ADS speed. It increases it a lot. And then put on stippled uh, grip tape. Then take this off. You really don't need 75. Use 40. And then put on sleight of hand or something. And if you guys want a sight, I understand that. But, like, I don't really like running sights, so that's why I just put on sleight of hand. But, look, this class would make you pull up so much faster than if you guys just put on, slapped on everything that's basically going to help you with range rather than help you with ADS speed. If that's how you guys want to play, more range and ODS, ADS speed, I get that. But if you guys are going for ADS speed, make sure you guys are putting on the right attachments or balancing your weapon right. Because I understand, if you want more range, you want a longer barrel, by all means, do that. But make sure that you put, like, no stock on or you put stippled grip tape on because all these other grip tapes, they help you with recoil and stuff, but they really don't help you with ADS speed. My number three tip, guys, is make sure you're paying attention to the perks that you're putting onto your weapon because, as you can see, all these tips really, like, eh, they, they kind of make a difference. Like, recon, I can see people using that for snipers. Mo money, I get if you're trying to get more XP for kills and stuff like that, but it's more headshot XP. But anyways, but everything else, guys, FMJ, like, it increases bullet pen penetration and damage against in equipment and kill streaks. Okay, wow, nice. Presence of mind, it, yeah, that's also, I can see somebody using that for snipers as well. Fast melee, I mean, I mean, if that's you, do you. Fully loaded, I mean, I've used that a few times. Like, that one's actually pretty good. Frangible, wounding, that one's actually pretty good as well. And then sleight of hand, that one is by far the best in my opinion, man. I'm telling you, if, you try, if you're trying to basically get a lot more kills, if you're trying to run a gun more, sleight of hand is going to be your best bet here. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. That's just what I say. Regardless of what anybody is going to give me crap about or anything like that, sleight of hand is going to be your best friend here. Because if you're able to actually reload your, your weapon on the fly and keep on spraying at people while they're caught reloading and then reloading really slow, I'm telling you, you're going to be able to kill them a lot faster than they're going to be able to kill you. Because reload time in this game is ridiculous, so reloading the fastest is essential in this game, especially when it comes to, like, ARs or anything like that. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion on that. Like, honestly, let me know in the comments what you guys personally think about that, but that is my... I don't know. That, that, is, that, that is just big facts I'm speaking right there. I'm sorry. That's facts. Moving on to number two. If you guys are freaking out about, say, for instance, you know how you put no stock on your weapon. You see how it says minus recoil control as well. And let's just say that you're putting on, let's say the Spetsnaz Elite. That's what I use for my AK class. 
And then we're going to talk about putting on, you know, for instance, a stipple grip tape. All right, cool. If you guys are freaking out about the recoil control and stuff like that, but you're also not wanting to sacrifice your uh, your ADS speed, make sure you guys just put a vertical foregrip on. I mean, I know that you guys are not wanting to sacrifice your ADS speed, and as you can see, it, it decreases your aim walking movement speed and your aim down sight speed. I get that, but it doesn't decrease it that much. So it's a very valuable sacrifice to make because this is going to make your gun deadly accurate and you're also going to be able to pull it fast as well. I'm sorry I'm using the AK a lot for this video, but this is a perfect example of a weapon to actually use. Now, I don't know, like that's just another tip I want to give to you guys is don't freak out if you see it saying like minus recoil control or anything like that. The main thing that you guys want to focus on in Modern Warfare this year is going to be range with recoil control and ADS speed. So if you have a perfect balance between all of those, any weapon that you make in the gunsmith is going to slap on any map. And that is my honest truth you guys i mean i know that kind of rhymed and i'm not trying to be a rapper or anything but anyways that is my honest truth make sure you guys can balance recoil control with ads speed and range and that's pretty much it and then if you got your reload speed unlocked with fast hands i'm sorry i'm so stuck on this or sleight of hand dude i'm telling you any gun is gonna slap it's going to slap anyways my number one tip to you guys this is the last tip i want to get to you guys and this is the truth if you guys are only down to play small maps if you guys are only down to play large maps Make sure you're customizing your gun to fit the map. So if I'm going in to, let's just say, that stupid Euphrates Bridge, whatever the heck it's called, and I'm making my AK class look like this, this thing looks like a pea shooter. Like, I'm not going to be able to kill anybody from no range with this gun. Because look at this. This gun is the size of my pinky. You're not going to be able to kill anybody with that. So make sure if you are going into a map, make sure you guys are customizing your gun, whatever gun you're trying to use, to based, basically fit that match or that map to the best of your abilities. So that does it for today's video. I want you guys to drop that thumbs up once again. If you guys have any more tips with the gunsmith and how to basically work your weapons the right way, make sure you guys drop a comment down below. But anyways guys, much once again, peace.